since 1981. Uh, nobody has uttered this number in that context in Colorado. The last time Colorado saw so many people die on the state's roadways was 42 years ago, long before seatbelt laws and safety improvements. 745 people died on Colorado's roads last year. These are loved ones. These are friends. These are neighbors. They're family members. While the state's population has nearly doubled since then, the deadly crashes per vehicle miles traveled is going up. The rate of crashes per vehicle miles, miles traveled They've steadily increased over the last decade. Driving the increase in deaths, people making bad decisions. A 6% increase in crash deaths where a driver is impaired, either by booze or drugs. More people speeding, not paying attention. Fewer people buckling up. Problems that have only exploded since the pandemic. A lot of high speed, a lot of just downright dangerous and reckless behavior behind the wheel of cars. CSP Colonel Matthew Packard says his department has heard the public's complaints about a need for enforcement. The Colorado needs is for our troopers to be as visible as they possibly can. Uh, so we'll work on that. But a trend in increasing road deaths across the country may have less to do with enforcement and education and more to do with engineering. A lot of times traffic engineering sort of focuses on the whack-a-mole type approach. Like we're very reactive to road safety type issues. And I think it's about time we are really more proactive on this front. CU Denver um, professor and traffic engineer Wes Marshall uh, says it's time to have a serious conversation about road design. We're really designing these roads in a way where it's hard and almost unthinkable to drive high speeds is a longer term type investment that would lead to better road safety. So for CDOT's part, they say they're working on that engineering part, working on safer designs, better ways to set speed limits and investing in safer infrastructure for people walking and cycling, a whole statewide traffic safety plan. We should note here that more than a third of the traffic deaths last year were people outside of cars, so pedestrians, cyclists, and motorcyclists. We heard a fair share of those too as well. Yeah, Scary. absolutely. All right, thank you, Steve.